Hello, welcome back to Lollywood Gaming. I think this is going to be the final episode of Franbo. I just have this feeling in my gut, unless I tacked this on to the previous episode. In that case, you already knew this. But uh, we're going to give our bottle of tears to this guy right here. Bottle of tears. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better because he has headache, and our tears are supposedly supposed to help him. Oh, trying to poison me. Oh, trying to poison me. Oh, lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound darkest things I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Yay! So now we're next in line. Thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Bye. <gasps> Perfect timing. This was enough to say. My turn. Yay! I guess I can just go. It's locked. It doesn't have a keyhole. I'm number two. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? What? Not really. You told me to take a number and wait. <coughs> Sorry, that the Mabuka voice that I did last episode is like, like almost destroyed my throat. I'm sorry, we don't see help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. Well, that's kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're like, you know, maybe you lose her mind instead. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Well, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Aha! So now I can use that on the phone. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? That'd be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Oh, right, I'll go and make the call then. I knew I needed to use that phone for something. Oh, Mabuka. Uh, it's this way. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that Mabuka voice like really did a number on my throat. Oh, thank you. One, two, two, one, two. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. It's Fran Bo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes. I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. Bureaucratic BS with the healthcare and the blah, 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 blah. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, I don't have my ticket anymore. Hello, patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives, yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute, just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. See, yes. Yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you. I guess. I No, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually. Because it's none of my business. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Raymore, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Raymore, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happens. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dan? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dropping, dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. <laughs> Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, why? Oh. No, can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I did it. It was me. Stop it, please. No. <laughs> Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? Oh, gosh. The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. No. No. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. But first, I think I should get some water. A tank with water, good. Okay, okay, I guess she just wants to go. <gasps> Dr. Dan! Master Midnight! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me, what's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? I must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a Thurston, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, Kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dean, are you all right, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dan, wake up. Are you alive, sir? What should I do to wake him up? Shoot him full of this? Red balloons, what could it be? What could it possibly be? Dr. Oswald. Somebody must be really fond of brains and heads. Try to be Dr. Dan's head. I mean, let me... Oh, wait, wait. I see things. Yeah. These buttons don't do anything. There's a sign here. I'm not going to pull the switch. I don't want to pull the switch. My dear, please talk to me. I miss you so much, Mr. Midnight. Say something. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, can't leave. Got it. Okay. <laughs> can't. Can't wake him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I have to. I have to pull the switch. It's the only thing I can do. <laughs> Does this lever do? Dr. Den, are you all right, sir? No, that wasn't enough, huh? Oh, do I have to hold it? Oh, I think I have to hold it. Electric shock. I think I'll just leave it there. Oops, oops, that I just did it again. Didn't do anything. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, the syringe. I think I actually have to stick him with the syringe. Hey, <laughs> maybe this will wake him up. I mean, this will wake him up. Oof. Oh, 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 damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dan, it's me, Fran. Oh, what, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Uh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? Oh, wait. There was a picture over here. I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? I forgot to look at this picture. No. Yes, Fran, the same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Raymond did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Raymor all the time. But why does he hunt me? Raymor is a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? 
because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You were suffering. Our pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Whoa. Wait. Where are you going? Hold on, I want to look at this picture. Oh! Oh, I got an achievement! Center of Brain Research and Pineal Gland Phenomena. Clara and Mia. Oh, those two are Clara and Mia. No. Or are these two Clara and Mia? No, that's Clara and Mia, because they were teenagers. And then this is my mom and Aunt Grace. Oswald. Oh, that's Leon. Oh, such a brain race. Grace and Mia. That's my mommy and my aunt. Isn't that the old nurse? Center of brain research. Grace and Lucy. Uh, I already did that. Interesting. Alright. Bye. I guess. Aunt Grace, no! What are you doing? Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine. Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! 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 Mr. Midnight, no! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. No! It was so sad. It reached for me before she dropped him. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you! Oh, stop it! Fran, help! Help! Please, help! Oh my gosh! Don't come between a girl and her cat! Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Oh my god! Oh my god! He shot me! <gasps> what happened? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane! Very good to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Oh my god, my cat died. I get shot. Fran, are you alright? What have you what have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You're right about Dr. Fran, Dr. Dan. She was sick. Oh, she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now I have her. Nothing can stop me. <gasps> Edward! He uses the force. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I meet word, the one many children talk about. But but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprote, palontros monokaist. Gorska. It word, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. <gasps> Mr. Midnight, he's okay! Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Okay. Like terrifying and cute, this artwork. Huh? Oh, oh, what's happened? 
It would? Palantras. My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please, tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go, all right. Dr. Dan, look. This is Itward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Oh, no. He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see, well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. Is she, though? You are becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Penantris. Now let's send Dr. Dan home. Marcel Dan, you are nam vak ma sudin slo ekdo. Goodbye, Dr. Dan. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, Kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, there, I choose happiness. Yay! Look at us flying! Aww. Aww. I liked that. I liked that game. So it, it was a long game, which I, I, I like and I loved. I mean, the Athirsta section dragged on a bit much for me. Just because it was a, it was a, like, they tried to hide, like, three fetch quests in one fetch quest. But it was, like, it, it dragged a bit. It dragged. Um, the beginning was amazing. The ending was interesting. Uh, so I guess, I guess the overall thing was that they wanted my brain for something. I, I, I kind of still don't know what for. I guess to, to get into the, to be able to, um, to be able to get to the ultra reality, to be able to, um, oh my god, I can't think of the word. Uh, oh my god, I can't think of the word. To be able to, to get, to be able to see, touch, feel, be, uh, access. To be able to access the ultra reality and all the other realities. I think that was what Oswald was trying to do. Um, it didn't go very well for him. Um, and I, I, I guess, uh, Raymore did get us to kill our own parents, so we did kind of kill our own parents. But, hey, you know, it is what it is being possessed by an evil spirit um yeah i really like this game i loved the art style it, like i said earlier it was, it was like um oh uh it was like uh, creepy but also adorable like there were times where the the people's faces were very disturbing but then they could also be very cute and touching and moving and all that um but yeah this was franbo I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if you can tell, but I highly enjoyed it. As we read through all these millions of names. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I think... I don't know what the next one will be, but I, I have an idea. I have a few ideas rolling around in my brain. Maybe something I've already played makes a comeback. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, thank you for making Franbo Kill Monday games. I like the music too.
Okay. Um, I'm just waiting to see if there's anything else afterwards. Nope, there's not. All right, yay! We did it. Fran bow is completed. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next game, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah. See you next time. Goodbye.